Welcome to Chapter 4, where we look at information security. Information security is slightly different to cybersecurity and refers to the protection of digital and non-digital information from an authorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. The following are some of the fundamental concepts and principles of information security. Confidentiality, ensuring that information is only accessible to authorized individuals and entities, integrity, maintaining the accuracy, completeness, and consistency of information over its entire life cycle to availability, ensuring that information and the systems used to access it are always available when needed, authentication, verifying the identity of users, systems, and devices to ensure that they are authorized to access the information, authorization, determining what resources and Actions users are allowed to access based on their roles and permissions, accountability, holding users and systems responsible for their actions and ensuring that they can be traced back to their source. Non-repudiation, ensuring that the origin and authenticity of information cannot be denied by the sender risk management. Risk management refers to the process of identifying, assessing, and prioritizing risks and then taking steps to minimize, monitor, and control those risks. Risk management is an essential practice for organizations of all sizes and types, as it helps them to identify potential threats to their operations and develop strategies for mitigating those threats. The risk management process typically involves the following steps, risk identification, identifying potential risks that could affect an organization. Risk assessment, evaluating the likelihood and potential impact of each identified risk. Risk prioritization, ranking risks based on their severity and likelihood of occurrence. Risk mitigation, developing strategies to reduce the likelihood or impact of identified risks. Risk monitoring, continuously monitoring risks and adjusting mitigation strategies as needed. Risk communication, communicating risk information to stakeholders, including employees, customers, and investors. Effective risk management can help organizations avoid financial losses, protect their reputation, and ensure compliance with laws and regulations. It is an ongoing process that requires ongoing vigilance and attention to changing risks and circumstances. Security policies An information security policy is a set of guidelines, rules, and procedures that define how an organization manages, protects, and secures its information assets. The policy aims to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information by setting out the standards, procedures, and practices that need to be followed to safeguard information. A comprehensive information security policy typically covers several areas, including access control, access control policies, and procedures to manage user access to information resources. Data protection, policies and procedures to secure data at rest and in transit, incident management, policies and procedures to manage security incidents and minimize the impact of security breaches in network security, policies and procedures to secure the organization's network infrastructure. Physical security, policies and procedures to secure the organization's physical assets, such as buildings, servers, and other equipment. Risk management, policies and procedures to assess and manage security risks, security awareness and training, policies and procedures to educate employees about information security best practices. Third party management, policies and procedures to manage third party vendors and contractors that have access to the organization's information assets. Creating and implementing an effective information security policy requires a collaborative effort between different departments, such as IT, legal, human resources, and senior management. The policy should be regularly reviewed and updated to reflect changes in the threat landscape and the organization's evolving security needs. Security awareness, educating users about the importance of information security and their role in protecting it. These concepts and principles are essential for designing, implementing, and maintaining effective information security practices in organizations. For point one, storage security, here are some best practices for securing data storage systems and infrastructure, use encryption to protect data at rest and in transit. Manage keys properly and use standards like AES-256. Utilize access controls like file permissions, multi-factor authentication, VLANs, and firewall rules to restrict access. Implement the principle of least privilege, only allow the minimum access needed. Disable default accounts. Regularly patch, update, and harden operating systems, databases, applications, and hardware firmware. 
utilize intrusion detection and data loss prevention solutions to monitor for unauthorized activity. Establish backup and disaster recovery systems for crucial data. Test backups regularly. Physically secure storage hardware, servers, and media in locked facilities with controlled access. Dispose of old or decommissioned hardware securely by wiping disks, destroying drives, etc. Maintain logs of access and changes for auditing purposes. Use unique identifiers for accessing systems. Train personnel in secure practices like proper password management, recognizing social engineering and reporting risks. Develop incident response plans for response in case of a data breach, loss or exposure. Assess storage infrastructure security regularly via audits, penetration tests, and risk evaluations. Monitor emerging threats and utilize threat intelligence to enhance defenses proactively. Following these best practices reduces the risk of unauthorized access, cyber attacks, data leaks, and system exploitation. For point two, email security. Email security refers to the measures taken to protect email messages from unauthorized access, interception, and compromise. Email security is important because email is often used to transmit sensitive information such as personal data, financial information, and confidential business communication. Here are some common email security measures, strong passwords, use strong passwords that are difficult to guess and change them regularly. Encryption, use encryption to protect the content of email messages from interception by unauthorized parties. Encryption can be done at various levels, such as end-to-end -end encryption or transport layer encryption. Antivirus and anti-malware software, use antivirus and anti-malware software to scan email attachments and detect and remove any malicious code. Two-factor authentication, enable two-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security to your email account. This requires a second factor such as a code sent to your phone, in addition to your password. Phishing protection, be aware of phishing attacks, which are attempts to trick you into revealing sensitive information. Use tools such as spam filters and email scanners to detect and block phishing emails. User awareness, educate users about email security best practices, such as not clicking on suspicious links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. Overall, email security is an ongoing process that requires a combination of technical measures and user awareness. By following best practices and using the right tools, you can protect your email communication from unauthorized access and compromise. For point three, perimeter security. Here are some key elements and best practices for establishing strong perimeter security, physical barriers, fences, walls, vehicle barriers, and controlled entry points to deter and prevent unauthorized physical access. Access controls, security guards, authentication mechanisms, badge access systems, biometrics, and visitor management procedures, surveillance systems, security cameras, video surveillance, and intrusion detection systems to monitor the premises. Lighting, adequate lighting of facility exteriors and entrances to eliminate blind spots and deter criminal activity. Secure ingresses, egresses, limited entry exit points, crash rated vehicle barriers, sally ports, man traps, and double door interlocks, employee visitor screening, reception desks, metal detectors, x ray screening, bag checks, and identification verification, signage, warning signs, property boundary markings, and notices to create visibility and awareness. Lead security, multiple, integrated physical controls for defense in depth rather than relying on single measures, regular testing, audits and penetration testing to check for vulnerabilities and address gaps in controls, maintenance, timely repair of broken physical barriers, landscape grooming, and appropriate technology upgrades, cybersecurity monitoring, networking monitoring, intrusion detection systems, and endpoint protections effective perimeter security balances access control. Surveillance, and layered physical reinforcements tailored to facility size, function, assets, threats, and vulnerabilities.